If you're interested in sim racing whatsoever, you should check out Shakedown Sim Racing on Facebook. It's a great community. It's a lot of great guys in there. And as the official sponsor of Shakedown Sim Racing, we've built a lot of PCs for the guys in that group, along with a lot of PCs for guys that are playing sim racing games in general. So if you're playing iRacing or ACC, we've built PCs specifically for those games. So this is a PC we just built for Jim, and Jim is one of the admins of Shakedown Sim Racing. So I'll show you what's inside this PC, and then we'll show you some footage of Jeremy racing around the track on ACC on high settings, triple 1440p monitors, and you'll see what kind of FPS we can get with a beast like this. This is an all AMD PC. We've got an AMD Ryzen 7 5800X 3D processor, and you're gonna find for gaming, that processor is on par with the two core i9s from the 12th and 13th gen Intel processors. So you're gonna find for gaming, you get the exact same FPS, and you'll see why when Jeremy's racing around the track with the triple 1440p monitors, you can see that the graphics card is at 100% usage. The processor is generally anywhere from 20 to 40% usage. And the reason is when you've got triple monitors, the sim racing game requires more graphical power, but not more processing power. So the processor does not get used quite as much as you'd expect. So the point is, if you're able to get this FPS with this processor, if you were to upgrade to something that is actually more powerful, you would get no more benefit. It's because the processor is not even being maxed out already. You can see the graphics card is at about 99 to 100%. That's telling you the graphics card is the weakest link. And whenever you build a gaming PC, either the processor or the graphics card has to be the weakest link. You generally want that to be the graphics card. So this processor, in my opinion, is more than enough if you want to get a PC that is actually future proof. And I don't really like the terminology of future proofing, but it does mean that you can get a processor that's more than enough now. And when you want some more power later on down the track, you can drop in, for example, an AMD 7900 XT or an RTX 4090 or whatever you like. The processor will still get a second life and you don't need to build a whole new PC. So if you're wondering what powers triple 1440p monitors, just get yourself an RX 6900 XT. You can see what it's doing here. So I do find with the RX 6900 XT on pretty much any sim racing game that we play on the triple 1440p monitors, we can play high settings and get around about 120 to 150 or more FPS. It just depends on the game. Depends how many cars are on the track, how many cars are actually on your screen. But the idea is you're always over 100 FPS. Now, a few quick notes on this as well. We have got 32 gig RAM in this PC, which is a little bit overkill. You don't need it, but RAM varies in price quite a bit. And for $80 at the time of this video, it was well worth just getting the 32 so that you can stream and game at the same time with less issues. Now, Jim has opted for a two terabyte NVMe SSD. So we pretty much don't have any loading times when we start up some games. Two terabyte is more than enough storage for all your sim racing stuff. You generally won't even fill up one terabyte, even if you get on AC and you had a lot of mods in the game. So two terabyte is perfect. It's about $120 more than a one terabyte. Now I know when you're sim racing, you've got three 32 inch monitors to look at. So you don't really care too much how the PC looks, but this is a still a pretty cool looking PC. It's built inside a Fentex P360A airflow edition tower case. We've got two fans at the front, bringing in some cold air, one exhaust fan at the back and two fans for the liquid cooler at the top here. So the cold air comes through, cools everything down, shoots out the back and the temperatures stay very low the whole time. Now the prices of these PCs will change all the time. The parts that I recommend will change all the time. And as we get closer to Christmas, we'll find that different parts are better value than others. And I'll recommend different things depending on your budget and what you wanna do with the PC, what games you wanna play, what monitors you've got. There's so many variables. So your best bet if you wanna get a new PC is to have a chat to me, get onto Facebook or Instagram or email or call. Have a chat to me and I'll work out a completely custom PC for you based on what you do, the monitors you've got or the monitors you wanna get. And I can recommend a few things for you so that your PC lasts a very long time. Now, as always, you get free delivery to your door anywhere in Australia. I don't care if you're in NT, WA, middle of nowhere, it doesn't matter. It's straight to your door for free. And you get a three year warranty that includes all the courier fees. So if you turn this thing on in two and a half years and it blows up, it's not your problem. It's all good, it's all covered. We'll sort it out for you. So if you wanna have a little chat about getting a custom PC for sim racing or even just normal gaming, if you've seen this video and you don't, even, you don't do sim racing, that's all good. Have a chat to me. I recommend a few things, we'll get your dream PC built.